Let's just spend a couple of minutes looking at the main differences between the sapphire glass edition of Garmin's Phoenix 3HR and the normal crystal glass edition. There's been a bit of confusion online uh, from what I've noticed and indeed I got confused myself. I've done a long uh, video review of the uh, Phoenix 3HR which I'll link um, and in that I thought I was using the sapphire because of what I'd read they were all sapphire but indeed they're not. I've got the two different versions here. I will explain at least as far as the UK goes what the difference is. Right let's start with the, the boxes on the outside. I'll just put the watches down there. Um, these boxes are slightly different in size, that's only because one of them is a performer bundle which means it had the HR strap inside it. But generally speaking, uh, the, there'll be normal height if all you're buying is the watches. The Sapphire version will clearly have Sapphire on the box. You can see on the left there it should say Sapphire, on the right it does not say Sapphire. That's one very key indication first of all. You can also see that the Sapphire bundles or the Sapphire watch has a grey bezel in the picture the uh, non-sapphire has a silver bezel in the picture. In terms of contents of the box, um, obviously this has got the, the heart rate strap in, so it's a bigger box, but I also believe that the sapphire models, in the UK at least, come bundled with a three-pin charger. The non-sapphire ones only have the USB lead, uh, as do these of course, but the non-sapphire, the crystal glass, do not have the uh, included three-pin charger. Not a huge difference, um, Pretty insignificant from my point of view. So that's the first difference is the boxes. Let's get them out of the way and look at the actual watches themselves now because that's where the, the main difference comes in. Um, so the two of them are sat here in front of you, um, almost exactly configured. Uh, the one on the right isn't uh, connected um, to anything via Bluetooth yet. So there they are and I'll try and just get the light on them and look at the initial differences. You can see first of all of course the sapphire on the left here has that dark grey stainless steel bezel, whereas the non-sapphire crystal on the right here of course has that uh, silver bezel. In terms of just looking at the glass, you can't see a whole lot of difference by looking at it. Um, there is that slight dome shape to the left one, it's hard to say whether it's there on the right one or not, it's, it's very subtle if it is. You can also see that the, the sapphire crystal version on the left there does have uh, slightly more etchings on the, the, is it the glass? I think it's the glass, it might just be uh, the casing just below the gra glass, but a little bit more in the way of silver etchings, um, which do not appear on the uh, crystal, the standard crystal, and the uh, the word at the bottom, Garmin, looks slightly different. Um, you can see there is kind of a difference there as to the way that the, the light shines and reflects off of them both, which is quite an interesting, subtle difference there for you to, for you to see. Um, other differences which in real life, and I think that captures it quite well, the crystal is actually brighter, has a brighter display than the um, sapphire on the left. That's a funny old thing isn't it, but it's significantly different. Um, I could notice that straight away. Of course if you only see one and you don't see the other, it won't mean anything to you at all. Uh, but the one on the right, the crystal, actually has a bit more clarity to it and is a little bit more brighter. Um, so those are the significant issues uh, in terms of the differences between the two. And of course, on the reverse side, um, one will say uh, at the top there, um, just about where my thumb is, the sapphire will say sapphire and the crystal will not. It'll just refer to stainless steel. Uh, and the word sapphire will not be present. Uh, whereas on the sapphire, the word sapphire is definitely present. So that's the main differences um, between these two watches. Uh, the straps seem to be exactly the same. The nice uh, black UV protected silicone. Obviously the benefits of crystal are that it's much tougher, much more resistant to scratches and wear and tear and should look nicer for longer. But whether you want to spend that extra money is up to you and it's also a a design thing. I mean I, I really don't know looking at these you know um, which you can kind of see the dome thing there. There you go I've got some uh, overhead lights. You can see the dome effect. I think they're both domed aren't they? Slightly but um, maybe more so on the uh, the sapphire but you can you can see the difference in the glasses there 
and also you can see the difference as the light reflects on them. But actually, under normal circumstances, uh, trying to get the light as, as equal as I can, I do think the crystal is slightly brighter just in normal situations. And I've purposefully set them with a white background and dark accents so that they look um, uh, as similar as possible and as bright as possible for the purposes of the video. I gotta be honest, um, I own this one on the left, but <laughs> I actually prefer this one on the right to look at as an item. Um, the weight, I don't know, you can look that up. It feels about the same to me. I'm guessing that the sapphire might be a little bit heavier. Um, but there we are. If you've got any more questions, any more issues, um, pop them in the comments down below. Uh, like anything, you pay your money, you make your choice. You can actually find, um, I've found the sapphire for sale uh, at, a, at a very good, I, I, I always hunt out my stuff until I get it for a ridiculously stupid price. Um, but actually, if you look carefully, there isn't that much of a difference between the sapphire and the crystal. Um, however, typically high street um, shops, you might find 50 or 60 quid between the two. And then you've got to make your choice. Really, do you want to spend that money on some slightly updated glass that you may or may not scratch at some point in the future? Or would you rather spend it on something much more constructive? I don't know. Um, but there you go. That's the two watches. I'm happy to take any questions, comments in the boxes below. Uh, if you like this video, please do me a favor and indicate by giving it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you don't, then you know indicate that too. And uh, again, if I can clarify anything, just let me know below.